Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today is all about the Heron's formula. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, what if the teacher will ask you to find the area of a triangle given three sides? What will you do? Now, of course, we know that to find the area of a triangle, the formula is area equals one-half base times height. So this is the formula in finding the area of a triangle. So we do have the base, which is 39. So we have the base. This one is our base, but we don't have the height as well as we don't have the area. So we, we do have two unknowns. So our height there class is this one. This is the height. We can actually find that height, but it's quite tricky. It will take time. So the thing that we will do, okay, the thing that we will do is you need to remember the Heron's formula. If three sides are given, okay, do not forget, if three sides are given, we can actually find the area not using this formula. Instead, we need to use the Heron's formula in finding the area of the triangle. So what, what, what is the formula? So to find the area of the triangle, the formula, this is the formula, area equals the square root of S, quantity S minus A, quantity S minus B, quantity S minus C. So this is the formula that we need to use in finding the area of the triangle if the height is not given and the given are only the three sides. Now, what is S there in the Heron's formula? S there is the semi-perimeter. Okay, semi-perimeter. To get the semi-perimeter, very easy class. Just add the three sides. So, side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3. And you divide it by 2. Add the three sides and divide it by 2. So, you can choose either 25 is your first side, 39, or 56. Either of these three class. So, we have 25 plus 39 plus 56. Divide it by 2. And that's the semi-perimeter. Alright, so we need to get S to get the semi-perimeter, to, to, to use this area, the formula. So what is A, B, C? Do not forget class, A, B, C, those are the sides. So you can choose A, whether A is 25 or A is 39. It depends on you class. So A, B, C are the sides. You can choose either of these three. Alright, so let's find the semi-perimeter. So we have S. I will just put S for semi-perimeter. So S equals side 1 is 25, side 2 is 39, plus side 3 is 56. And we divide it by 2. So if the teacher will allow you to use calculator, that's good. If not, you can actually add this, this one manually. So I will just use the calculator as for now. Later on, answering the area is we need to uh use the prime factorization if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator we will do that later on but this time let's just use the calculator first so we have 25 plus 39 plus 56 and we divide it by 2 so 25 plus 39 plus 56 that's okay 29 uh, sorry 25 plus 39 plus 56 that's 120 so s equals 120 Sum of 25, 39, 56, 120, we divide it by 2, and we will get 60. So our S is equals to 60. Now when we have our S, okay, the semi-perimeter, so next is we need to find the area. So area, we'll just put A equals the square root of, so S, copy, 60, quantity, so quantity there, class, it means multiplication. So you multiply the answer of this one, the difference of S minus A, S minus B, and S minus E. So 60, so we have S is 60 minus, you can choose either of these three. So let's have 25 for A. And then 60 minus our B is 39. Then 60 minus C is 56. So area equals, we have the square root of, so 60 times... 60 minus 25, that's... 60 minus 25 is 35. Then next is 60 minus 39, that's 21. 60 minus 39 is 21. And 60 minus 56 is 4. Alright, so we have area equals... Very easy, right? So if the teacher will allow you to use calculator, just simply multiply this 4. 60 times 35 times 21 times 4. So let's use the calculator. Later on, we will not use the calculator. So we have 60 times 35 times 21 times 4 times 35 times 21 times 
4. So we have 176,400. So the square root of 176,400. So the square root of 176,400. Close parenthesis and you will get 420. So area equals 420. Do not forget that since we are finding the area, so we don't have the units. Okay, we don't have the centimeter. Uh, it's not given inches there or meters. So if no units, do not forget that we will just use square units. Okay, if units are not given, you can just type square units. So the area is equal to 420 square units. So that's it. That's how you solve for the area using the Heron's formula. Very easy, right? So given three sides. Now, what if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator? So let's do the prime factorization. Alright, so let's stop this one. Do not forget that one class. Uh, 120 square units. Now, what if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator? So in this part class, of course, of course, you know how to add this three. Okay, adding this three. So you have 25 plus 39 plus 56. That's 120. And then we divide it by 2, you get 60. Now in this scenario, so we have 60, copy 60, and 60 minus 25, that's 35. 60 minus 39, 60 class from the semi-perimeter is the 21. 60 minus 56 is 4. Now, if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator, this will be hard for you if you multiply this 4. So it will take time. So the thing that you will do is you need to remember the prime factorization. So what do you mean by prime factorization? You find two numbers. Do not forget about prime numbers class. So example, prime numbers are numbers which has ha which has two factors, number one and the number itself. Example, five. Is, this, is five a prime number? Yes. Because the only factors of five, it's only one times five. So five is a prime number. So do not forget to solve for this one. If the teacher will not allow you to use calculator, you can do the prime factorization. So let's have 60. So 60... 60, it means we can simplify this one by 6 and 10. 6 times 10 is 60. But 6, is 6 a prime number? No. Because 6, the, the factors of 6 is 1 times 6. So it has two factors already. And we, call, we can also multiply 6 by 2 times 3. So, four factors. So me, it means that 6 is not a prime number. So we can still simplify 6. We have 2 and 3. And for 10, that's 2 and 5. So 2 and 3, 4, 6, and for 10, 2 and 5. So is 2 a prime number? Yes. The only factors of 2 is 1 and 2. Do not forget, class, the smallest prime number is 2. So 2, 3, 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number. So for 60, we can write this one as area equals, for 60, that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 so that's the prime factorization of 60 all right so sir why is that why, why do we need to get the prime factorization now if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator this is very important class it's because do not forget that in square root if we write 2 times 2 okay do not forget in square root if we write 2 times 2 2 times 2 is 4, the square root of 4, okay? 2 times 2 is equals to square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So we need to have two at least two pairs so that we can remove it. We need to have at least two pairs so that we can put the square root of that two pair outside this radical sign. Because the square root of 2 times 2, okay, do not forget, square root of 2 times 2, that's, square, that's equal to the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So we need to have at least two pairs so that we can... Cancel this out and put it outside the radical sign. Alright, so we have for 35. 35, the factors, the prime factors are 5 and 7. Is 5 a prime number? Yes, 7. Yes, only 2 factors, 1 and 7. Times, so for 35, 5 times 7. How about for 21? 21, uh, we have 3 and 7, right? 3 times 7. 3 is a prime number, 7 is a prime number. So we have times 3 and times 7. For 4, 
Alright, how about 4? So we have 2 times 2. 2 times 2. 2 is a prime number. 2 is a prime number. Times 2 times 2. Next is we need to arrange. So arrange this one. So we have area equals. So we have first 2 pairs. So we have this one. So 2 times 2. Alright, times 2 times 2. So we write this one. What else? Times 3. Do we have do we have two threes? 3 times 3. So this one. And we have two fives. So times 5 times 5. This one. And we have two sevens. So times 7 times 7. Alright. So we have area equals. So I will just put it here. So area equals, so first, square root of 2 times 2. So you can remove this one. So do not forget the square root of, okay, 2 times the square root of 2 times 2 is the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So we can cancel this out. Okay, we can cancel this out and put it outside the radical sign, which is, the answer is 2. So do not forget about this one. So we have, cancel this out. So we have 2 times so we have another pair. So 2 times 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So cancel this out. Put it outside the radical side and multiply. We have 2 times 2. For 3, 3 times 3 is 9. The square root of 9. So we have the square root. The square root of 9 is 3. So cancel this out. Times 3. 5 times 5 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Cancel this out times 5 and 4 7 7 times 7 is 49 the square root of 49 is 7 cancel this out and we have times 7 so area equals okay area equals the square root of i uh, multiply this one so we don't have the square root already because we just canceled it out so 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 12 times 5 is 60 so let me check that 12 times 5 5 times 2 is 10, 0 carry 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. 60. So we have 60. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. Times 5 is 60 times 7. 60 times 7, 0. 6 times 7, 42. You get the same answer, 420. Do not forget since this is area and we don't have the units, square units. All right. That's it, class. That's how you solve for Heron's formula. So if you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe. Share it to your friends, class, and to your classmates so that we can help them. So once again, if the teacher will not allow you to use calculator, do not be worried. Just use the prime factorization. You have a great day, class. Goodbye. Bye-bye.